Dress warm and stay safe because I am tracking winter weather across parts of the region impacting mainly uh, Western North Carolina. As you can see, this pink swath, that is freezing rain. Anywhere from Grassy Creek down towards Marion, Hendersonville, Thuns Rock, picking up this freezing rain. It's still coming down at a decent rate. It falls as rain, but once it hits that cold surface, it just freezes on contact. Likely as ice has already been reported, and unfortunately, more is yet to come. And then I want to zoom in to the North Carolina as well as the South Carolina state line. So this is Greenville County, northern portions of it. You can see we have that freezing rain too from Chestnut Springs back towards Gap Creek. Caesars Head also seeing that freezing rain right now. Please be careful, reduce your speed if you are traveling this morning. And if you don't have to go out, just don't wait for the afternoon as it will be much better. But the rain is gonna come down more heavy and steady starting this afternoon, but at least by lunchtime, our temperatures will be warm warming above freezing. So right now with all of our temperatures above that freezing point in the upstate, that's what we have is rain. So this whole system is just temperature dependent. You can see we have a wide area of rain and that's all going to be impacting us throughout the day. So we still do have those winter weather advisories in place for Western North Carolina as well as northern portions of the upstate. This will expire at noon today because we have the greatest chance of ice accumulation to happen now up until noon. So here's how it's going to shape out. 9 a.m. here, still holding on to that wintry mix, that freezing rain, possibly some sleep mixing in too across western North Carolina and northern portions of the upstate. We're going to get a brief break um, in the action going through the afternoon hours before a heavy and steady round of rain impacts us starting at 2 o'clock, continuing through dinner time. So it's not going to be an easy commute home either. And then across the higher terrain, we're going to be having a rain snow mix that will continue up until Thursday morning while the rest of us do dry out and will actually break out into some sunshine throughout the day on Thursday. So overall, it's not a great day. We are rating it a 2 on the Carolina Sky Meter. So I, for today, you can expect it to be cold. So the rain that falls, it's going to be that cold rain. You're really going to have to bundle up and the winds are going to be gusting up towards 30 miles per hour. So a wind chill component will be there. Plus we have that ice happening across the uh, portions of the mountains. So that means with this wind, power outages will be possible. So keep that in mind. Plus for the overnight, we're dropping down into the 20s and 30s across the region. So that means any of that standing water that is left or receiving all of this rain it's going to freeze back over, impacting your Thursday morning commute. So it's going to be very dicey Thursday morning. Give yourself extra time. Plan according now. At least on Friday, we'll dry out. Temperature is still staying below where we should be for this time of year until the weekend. And for the mountains, it's the wintry mix happening today. Lingering showers tomorrow, drying out, but staying with a mostly cloudy sky condition. More sunshine will break through on Friday and the start of the weekend.